did you have any dealings with or with Clive Churchill button in or wanting to say anything with Rodney or Yeah. Uh, I used to have a beer at the Cauliflower Hotel on a Saturday afternoon and I was a good mate of Bobby Grant who was one of uh, Clive's favourite players. And uh, Granny said to me, Church would like to call in Saturday afternoon if you're at the pub. I said, yeah, right, you know I'll be there. <clears throat> and uh, this was pre-season. And Clive arrived this day and Rodney was a really good player. Didn't have much size. Very quick. And he played his club football as a centre. And I thought he'd either make a really good fullback or a halfback. And so I played him a couple of trials as a fullback. And Clive was of the opinion that there was too much pressure on him at fullback. So he, uh, he came and seen me. We had a beer together. And he said if he could find another spot for Rodney to play, I'd be very grateful for that. He said because... Fair enough, just a, a parent, yeah. um, you know. Yeah, and uh, he, his advice was good. Uh, I still think Rodney would have made a very good fullback, but I did. I played him half back, and he was a success there uh, with with our team that year that went went through and won. Yeah. Well, there you go, dealing with uh, the, the little master, the first ever immortal of the rugby league. Yeah, yeah. He demanded to have a beer with Nixie. There you go. That's why we got him on Bunny's TV. 